So, Heroic Jin Rock is a fairly simple encounter, assuming you have intelligent enough raiders. Assuming you know the regular version, aka sand in the puddles and burn the boss, the Heroic one doesn't change all that much, apart from dealing more damage, and of course he has more health. Two added mechanics make the fight slightly more challenging than normal, but really not that hard to deal with. At the start of the fight, stand, DPS the boss, like normal. Don't use your DPS cooldowns though, save them for the puddle. Run out if you get that lightning ball. Try to drop it on the outside of the room, on the greatest of possible, which I sure hope is possible, because if you can't manage that, you really should not be raiding a heroic encounter in the first place. When you see the tank flying across the room, you know it's time to get headed over to the location they land. Try to save your DPS cooldowns for that. Don't fail like I did and think you're in an eclipse when you're not and, you know, lose a f few seconds on that because it doesn't work too well. Alright, now the first new mechanic is ionization. Everyone gets a debuff. Healers need to dispel or you can cloak it like I do, which I'm pretty boss at it. No, I'm just kidding, I'm not that good. You can either assign a healer to dispel the same person or just call out when you're away from the puddle but you have to get out of the puddle for this I wiped a couple times for this and it wasn't fun you will die you will instantly kill your entire raid if you get dispelled in the puddle lightning storm is the second new mechanic it's not that hard just gotta run around basically avoiding the lightning it's like attenuation only they don't really have a set pattern they just go wherever they want. You know, if you're better than me, you can continuously DPS. Oh, look, somebody died. You can continuously DPS the boss, but I, I just, I, I worry about surviving. All right, look. Oh. Drop in the orb where you should. Good, good, excellent. So we three healed this for a first kill. Ideally, you could two heal it, but getting hit by those orbs of death, not very forgiving if with only two healers. Fight will go a lot faster, of course, but it's up to you how many times you want to wipe two people killing, getting killed by orbs, so we'll just, yeah. So ionization again. Again, my cloak's on cooldown, so this time I'm gonna just run out and let the healer dispel it or let it fall off of me which is, oh, got lightning again, gotta drop it outside the puddle, because you can't drop it in the puddle. Oh, by the way, don't stand in those fissures either. They do a lot of damage, too. They will kill you, so, yeah, just, just be aware of that. All right, lightning storm again. So during this phase, you really should just slash dance with the boss and hope for the best. No, I'm just kidding, but... Yeah, run around, run around. All right, let's recap. Run out when you get focused lightning. Don't drop it in the puddle. For the love of God, you will wipe the, wipe the raid. I can't speak. Also, don't stand in the lightning fissures. They will kill you. Stack in the puddles. Use your DPS cooldowns then. Win. Run out when you get ionization debuff. Get it dispelled by a friendly healer when you are not in the puddle. I can't stress this enough. Lightning storm. Run around. You should be fine. Use defenses if you need to, but really not that hard. Now, at the end of the fight, healers, make sure you dispel someone that's standing in the puddle, just to ensure most of your raid will die. You will sleep better that night. That is it for my heroic Jinrock guide. This was my very first guide, so like and subscribe, and I will make more, maybe. We'll see, because... Heroic Horror Dub is kind of annoying, so yeah, I will see you around.